Hi everyone, uh, I'm Chef Jun Lee uh, from Suanye Restaurant, uh, South Korea. So we have a three most popular seaweeds uh, in, in Korea. This uh, is Tashima, Biok, and Kim. For this homage brush, uh, I, I chose two uh, out of the three uh, popular seaweeds. So as I said, uh, this uh, Tashima Puga, which is a Tashima chip, is uh, it's good enough for snack it itself. Uh, it's actually uh, made with the, a little bit of a, a sticky rice glue and a little bit of a sugar. That's it. So the Tashima itself contains a lot of salt contents. It has a salty and sweet flavor. And, and that's actually perfect snack. Oh, and by the way, I think I, I think I need to tell you like how to make this one. It's pretty simple. So you have a sheet of tashima, and just cut it into a certain shape, and make some uh, sticky rice glue by mixing sticky rice powder and water, and just cook until it has a glue form, and just brush out entire surface of this tashima with the uh, uh, sticky rice glue, and let it dry until. It's not sticky, and when it's done, you just put it into a, a like 365 degree uh, hot oil until it's you know as as crispy as this one. It's super crispy, and it has a full of umami, sweet, and salty flavor. And another component is a uh, uh, abalone. So I use the abalone, um, abalone zucchini a little bit of wasabi, and uh, abalone organ. Normally, we love abalone. Uh, I think it's a symbol of like good seafood. Like. And abalone itself also has a really, really good um, the flavor from its organ. So it doesn't need any kind of a seasoning, but just like steamed abalone, and just uh, take, the, uh, take the components from organ. And that's, that's, that's pretty much it. So as I said, this one has no salt or any, any seasoning at all. The only seasoning that we use for this entire dish is just a little bit of a sugar for this uh, Tashima chips. So I made uh, this kind of a, a thick uh, tartar and just put a little bit in the center of this puga. And isn't it familiar uh, with you that, um, you know, um, maybe I'm gonna bring this one one more time. The entire salad is pretty much the same as the uh, uh, gangdenjang, and and normally gangdenjang has a uh, lots of uh, like a conch or sea snail. Um, you know, abalone is a similar family, and it has an uh, organ and some some vegetables. Uh, this one, like obviously, it doesn't have any doenjang or gochujang, something like that. But the uh, the flavor components and the texture is pretty similar to this one. And here we have a two kind of a seaweeds. Uh, one is a miyok that I mentioned, and the other one is called the gojangcho. And, and I don't think this one has any English name, but um, it's more like kind of a smaller version of a uh, uh, miyok. It's, it's very small, and and normally uh, its flavor is not super special, but it has a different mouth feeling. So. I'm just gonna put this uh, pickled seaweed over this abalone, and a little bit of uh, this gojangcho on top. Super simple. This is it. And this is small homage bush that we are inspired by uh, Korean seaweeds. So there's a three kind of a seaweed and some shellfish and just a little bit of a zucchini and it has a crunchiness it, it has a crunchiness from the uh, the bottom this uh, uh, tashima chip and the softness and a little bit of a uh, um, like kind of a bouncing feeling and the uh, kind of a chewy texture from this abalone it has a similar components as the uh, this kangdenja and beyond. So these goes into this small bites.